What is going on my people? You know who it is. It's that one, the only, never duplicated Solano of Peru. To my new subscribers, welcome to that S to the O fam. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It really does mean a lot that you guys have. And if you're new to this channel and you happen to stumble on it, please hit that subscribe button. I will gladly appreciate it. If not, just hit that thumbs up button. And I will also appreciate it because it will also show YouTube that you like this type of content. And this is just it, fragrance related. This is what you get here. So today we have a brand new line that is, it's been out, but I'm not going to get into the details of what years it came out, but it just got here to the USA. And... Pretty first time I heard about from BDK, I was at my girl uh, near. I hit him up in a message. I was like, "Hey, near, do you got anything new coming in?" Because I'm always hitting him up, see if he got anything. And he works at Perfumology. If you guys haven't checked them out, go check him out. He does have a couple of good stuff. There's some niche quality, some niche brands, brands that you won't find anywhere else. But yeah, so he's like, "Yeah, BDK." I'm like, "What's BDK?" I'm like, "Who owns it?" He's like, "Well." You will find out soon. They're going to be talking about soon. So I was like, all right, cool. So I purchased something from him. And he sent me a Deacon of Crim de Cure. And I was like, oh, shit, this one smells nice. But we're not here to talk about that one. And then I ordered something from Crystal Fragrances. And I was like, she was like, Crystal, do you want me to send you any samples? I was like, yeah, sure, Crystal said. I was like, yeah, Crystal, send me something. And so she was like, what do you want me to send you? Oh, send me the BDK since everybody's talking about them. And she did. And I was happy enough to learn from there and smell some of them. But I didn't really official them because when it comes to decants or samples, I'm not really the best person to samples. I just throw them there and forget all about them. But that's neither here nor there. So, and this is what I got from the guy over there. We smelled most of them. So this is what I picked up. And I picked up Tuberose Imperial. Hopefully this picks this up. It should pick it up. And there you go. There's the bottom. The cap is gold. The sprayer. You guys want to see the sprayer? I'll waste a couple sprays for you guys. Let me get this right. There you go. Sprayer is nice. And in the bottom, you have all that good stuff from the badge code and all that other stuff. Engraved in the top, you have the BDK logo. As you saw, the spray was pretty good. Now, let's get on to the thing. And let's get on to the presentation of the box. Here's the box. It's a little bit damaged, but the box is right here. Hopefully, this picks this up. Picks it up real good. It's got the notes positive if you guys want to read it right there. The back it has the things. And on the side note, it has it right. Little bit of stories, but I can't even read most of it. A chord floors bunch and stuff like that. And BDK stands for David Benedict, Benedict, which are his initials to this one. David Benedict to that. He put the BDK in the four of the Benedict david and then that's how we got bdk so the notes are absolute tuberose absolute jasmine iris santal benzoin jasmine ylang ylang and that is pretty much it what you get here now in the opening you get this nice opening of white florals and in the dry down is where you get this nice creaminess of the vanilla the sandalwood and a little bit of smokiness of and you get that smokiness from the incense. Now, the incense, with this incense, it kind of reminds me of By the Fireplace because of that smokiness that it gives me, it gives you and that creaminess also that you get from the vanilla and the floral notes. The floral notes don't stay throughout the longevity of the fragrance, in my opinion. It does dry down and you get more of the vanilla there and the smokiness that becomes through the longevity of the fragrance. Now, this longevity of the fragrance is what you get. Longevity and projection is what you get pretty solid fragrance longevity you get about a good seven to eight hours it lasts longer more on my skin more than curb the curb on this one of what the ones i tried and this one's awesome on me so now projection i get about a good two to three feet away because i was working and one of my co-workers stopped me he was like yo what are you wearing i'm like oh i didn't remember the name of it because i was still learning learning it and i was still wearing it. and he was like yeah i'm wearing this one so he was like oh it smells really good He's like, yo, let me know what the name is. So, okay, so today I had a couple extra fragrance samples that Crystal Fragrance sent me. And I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah, here we go. I got you. I looked it up. I was like, oh, look, here's the sample. He's like, yo, thank you so much. You made my day. I really appreciate you. And to me, that made me smile because, you know, in this hard time that we're having, he got to enjoy it. So I got one compliment, as you can see. And he was looking at it. And he actually wore the sample the whole day, which was fun. Which it was funny because, dang, like... This one's powerful alone in the opening. And projection, I'm sorry, I forgot I kind of lost sight. Projection, you get about a good two solid hours on it. And yeah, it wear lasts all night. But the thing is, but the thing about this fragrance is not a loud fragrance. It's one of those subtle fragrances more for intimate and close encounter settings. Settings. 
So, occasions I think you could wear this one. I think you could wear this one year round, in my opinion, because it's not too sweet, nor it's not too, nor it's not too fresh, not too weak. It really gives it that sweetness, and the florals give it that red component that you could wear this one year round. So, with that, occasions also occasions I think you could wear this dressed up, dressed down. Um, like I said, intimate settings, but not for the first day, maybe the second or the third day, because this is a floral fragrance, and people it does come out a little bit femme. But like I said, wear what you want, buy what you want. It's up to you. You should wear what you want and when you want to. It doesn't matter what anybody says. But yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, so yeah, pretty much yeah. So this is a solid fragrance. My opinion overall of what I've gotten from what I've smelled over most of them, I think this one is a solid fragrance, and I do think that you should rec. I do recommend this to you. The reason I recommend this because this is a safe. This is a safe blood. This is a safe blind by in my opinion and i think that's what bdk is trying to do they're trying to make mass appealing fragrances for everybody to buy it and that's what i think that's what near guy made this is a safe fragrances and i know i'm not when it comes to niche i am not the biggest one to go for niche for daring fragrances so now i understand what he meant he or maybe he was calling me basic who knows i'm just playing here but yeah um so yeah pretty much that's what he was saying so if you're interested uh hit up crystal fragrances or hit up near guy at perfumology and you know talk to them about getting some samples and tell them i sent you because this is a great house to look at it is a mass appealing fragrance for the people that are just into near so i think this would be a great introduction to niche if you're just starting to get into niche you know what i mean um, i'm crazy to try out the rest of the line which i do have samples let me know if you guys want me to review the line the line of what i have and tell you guys which ones are my favorite this is one of my favorites like i said i went for curum the cure and i pricked this one out and i am not mad i have been wearing this pretty 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 a while if you guys can see this it does have done a little dent on it because i used to try to wear it for review purposes but i have been falling in love with this one pretty much it for my review i'm trying to make this short and sweet and to the point let me know what you guys think or which one i should go back and try out have you guys tried this brand let me know what you guys think um the price point on this i forgot to say that the price point is about 210 which i don't think is that bad for a niche house considering to what other prices are going out there but yeah so let me know what you guys think let me know what is your favorite from bdk have you tried it are you interested in try it and as always wear what you want buy what you want and i will definitely see you next time and if i don't it's probably because you're not subscribed remember just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good and just because it's designer doesn't mean it's always bad peace i'm out of here you know who it is think of king of this game